your staff to handle that? We want to turn our attention to an update on pedestrian safety, so we've decided to combine two long-standing Rockville's 11 features. It's a combo pack of On Patrol meets Dr. Traffic, and this is coming in as our number six story. We had the chance to hit the streets with Sergeant Brian Paul of the Traffic Division to find out what he sees on Rockville's roads. The biggest problem that we see is uh, pedestrians that are crossing against the light or crossing between two adjacent intersections that, are, that do have a, a crossing signal. We also see a lot of cars, if you'll, if you'll watch, when the light turns green or turns red, they make a right arm red either without stopping or they will stop and they won't grant right away to pedestrians that are already in the crosswalk. It seems as though lack of attention is a common theme when it comes to pedestrian safety. Sometimes, sometimes people are preoccupied. They're either walking and talking on the phone, they'll be texting, they'll be walking with a companion and carrying on a conversation. They may not even pay attention to the light, that it's not even, like it's not even there. Or they'll t they will look and see they have a walk signal, but they won't even look and see if any cars are coming. They'll just step off the curb. We'll have a lot of folks that's, that will be shocked when they step off the curb and a car will come by w within a couple of feet and they'll honk the horn and they'll get offended. And even though they may be in the right of way, what good does that do you if you're dead right? The city has recently launched a pedestrian safety campaign called Smart Steps. It's all about bringing awareness to drivers and pedestrians of how to stay safe on the road. It involves many city departments, including police, communication, and traffic and transportation. We wanted to get Dr. Traffic's perspective on pedestrian safety in the city. Last year we conducted this study, it was in 2009, and we uh, looked at uh, all signalized intersections in the city of Rockville. And there were about 115 signalized intersections. The city owned about 45 or 47 signals, but we looked at all 115. So we looked at all of those signalized intersections, even, even on uh, state roads like 355, Beers Mill, 28, all, all of the state roads and county roads. And um, we uh, looked also at some uh, what we call unsignalized intersection or uncontrolled uh, locations where you have a crosswalk but you don't have a stop sign or you don't have a traffic signal. And in summary, we looked at all um, aspects of those locations, signalized or unsignalized, to try to see what can we do to improve them for pedestrians. The study came up with uh, many recommendations. Some of them were for the city for city intersections and some of them for the county and the state which we forward to them uh, the study and the recommendations of the study. We have started of course uh, a program to uh, tackle all of those recommendations. One of them for example is to add some pedestrian ramps at intersections. Last year we in, uh, installed 92 ramps and this year we are installing so far about 80 ramps or so. So uh, that's one direction. The other thing, we look at all the signalized intersections and we modified and updated any signalized intersection where we found that the signal timing need to be uh, improved. Uh, we added also some crosswalks where um, crosswalks either were faded or were not existing. Um, and we added a few street lights, which we are also very, we have very aggressive uh, program for adding street lights to improve safety near metro stations and where we have pedestrians uh, using uh, the facility. Advice to those who frequent Rockville's roadways? Pay attention. The, the biggest thing is pay attention. Open your eyes. If you see somebody in the crosswalk, whether or not they have the right of way, just give them the right of way. Same thing for pedestrians. Even if you have the right of way and you see a car coming, let them go. Just, just turn the other cheek and be the bigger man. The main thing we want them to know is maybe one or two things. Drive the speed limits and be alert and look and expect pedestrian to cross, especially where there is a crosswalk or there is a traffic signal or there is a stop sign. They need to stop at the stop sign, stop at the red light. Uh, some people, especially when they make a right turn, maybe that's a, a very uh, interesting point. It happens a lot. People, when they want to make a right turn, they look on the left side to see if cars are coming, but they don't look if a pedestrian is crossing at the same place where they are turning this right turn. So this would be uh, maybe an important thing. To learn more about pedestrian safety in the city, go online to rockvillemd.gov and search pedestrian safety.